Let's say you want to have your own domain name email. For example, hey at yourwebsite.com. How exactly do you do that? I know GoDaddy and other providers that you buy your domain name have it to where you can use their website for your email. But honestly, guys, it kind of sucks because it's just not Google. It's not Gmail. I want to use Gmail. So how can you use Gmail for your own domain name? Hey, YouTube, it is Miss Technical, and I made that video back in 2022. It is now almost about to be 2025, and Google has made some changes. So if you're wanting to still use GoDaddy for your domain, but Gmail for your email, this is an updated video, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, to make it easier for you, I've attached a link right below this YouTube video. And the reason why you want to click on that link, you're going to see a page that looks like this, but you also get 10% off from Google for the whole entire year. Now, once you click on that link, you're going to see a couple options to choose from. For this example, I'm going to click on business standard. And if you're like, I don't know which one to choose from, right below get started, you're going to see what each one has to offer. So then from there, you're able to say, okay, this one right here works for me. Once you find that plan, click on get started. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is to put in your business name. Make sure that you put in a business name that represents your company. For this example, I'm just putting in your business name. And then next, choose the amount of employees that you have. The reason why I'd ask you this, because you may have a couple people that may need your domain. For example, sam at yourdomain.com. So you're able to just put just yourself, or if you have a couple of employees, you're able to put that on there as well. Now this step is pretty easy. You're just gonna put in your contact information. And when it comes to email right below, Put in something like at gmail.com, something that's personal to you that you will always have access to. It's just for just in case purposes. So put in an email that you will always have access to, something that doesn't have your domain. Now for this step, you're going to click on set up using your existing domain. And the reason why is because this video is for people who have a domain with godaddy.com. So make sure you're clicking on set up using your existing domain. Next, type in the domain that you have with godaddy.com and then choose next. And then for this step, it's pretty self-explanatory. Choose a username and choose a password. Now for this step, make sure you add in that promo code. The promo code is right in this YouTube video as well. Just copy and paste that promo code and it's going to give you 10% off for the whole entire year. And also, if you are like, are they going to charge me right now? Don't worry, they're not going to charge you right now. You have a trial period for 14 days so that you're able to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can always cancel it. Now for this, you're just going to type in your personal information as far as your billing and your card information and then click next once you're done. Then you're going to see something like try Gemini for a bigger productivity boost. Um, I use Gemini because I'm a developer, so I use it for like their API when it comes to me developing apps. But honestly, if you use ChatGPT and those other things, you, you don't really need this. So you can skip it if you like. Now, here comes the fun part. It is time to verify your domain. So click on get started. Next, you're going to click on sign in to GoDaddy. And this is going to direct you to a page to godaddy.com so that you're able to sign into your account. Once you're signed in, you're going to see a button that says connect. Click connect and then you'll see it connecting. Now this process takes some time, so just give it a couple minutes for Google to do its thing with GoDaddy. And once it's done, you're going to see a button that says activate Gmail. Click on that button and then click continue. Now, during this time, you're able to add on additional users. If you don't know if you need additional users just yet, or you want to think about this later on, that's completely fine. You don't have to add it right now. You can just click on proceed with activation. And you may see a screen like this. If you do, don't be like, didn't I just sign in to GoDaddy and do this? This is to set up to where you're able to send and receive emails, not confirm your domain like you did with the other page there. So click on sign in with GoDaddy again, and then give it some time as Google and GoDaddy is doing its thing to connect with each other. 
bam, now you're done. And now you can click on explore Google workspace. So let's click on this button so that we can just kind of do a run through. So for personalizing your setup, you're able to skip this if you like, but personally, if you are a business owner, I would click on connect with customers or even collaborate with my team and then click continue and then choose some of the tools that you personally would like to use. For me, I click Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Docs, Sheets, and then also ChatGPT. Just you're able to choose um, any of the tools that you like. If you would like to skip, you can always click on I'm not sure. Okay, so for now, once you're done, you're gonna see a list like this. I know it's overwhelming, like, whoa, this is a lot. You're able to go down the whole list, but I wanna show you something that is very important. So please pay attention to this part. Underneath set up your workspace, you're gonna see represent your team and then add a logo. Every company needs a logo, especially when it comes to when you're emailing someone. And if you don't have a logo, guess what? I create logos for companies as well. My process is a little bit different. I get companies logos done within an hour or two because we're jumping on Zoom and I'm designing it right in front of them while sharing my screen. And by the end of our meeting, their logo is done. So let's say you already have a logo. Let's click on add a logo. Once you click this button, you're gonna click on custom logo and then select a PNG file of your logo. Now, when you do this, there is a possibility that it will look like this. And I'm like, ooh, what just happened here? Your logo has to fit in between 320 by 132 pixels. So if it doesn't do this, there is a possibility that it will look like this. So how do you fix this? In my video description, there is a Canva template that you're able to click on. When you click on that Canva template, you're gonna upload your PNG file of your logo, drag and drop it into that template there, resize it so that it fits like how you see here. And once you're done, you're going to download it as a PNG file and make sure that you click on transparent background and click download. Once you've clicked on that, you can go back to Google Click on select file to upload and bam, your logo will then look like this. It is fixed. Now you can go back and then you're able to see all the tools that Google recommends for you. Once you're done looking at that, you can go to the top right corner, click on that and then go down to where you see admin. And this is your admin panel or your Google workspace. So now if you ever need to add more users, click on manage under users, and then you're able to see all the users that you have up under your Google workspace. So let's click on Jane Doe. And as you can see, Jane Doe does not have a picture. So if you would like to add a picture, click on the icon there and then upload a picture. And then now Jane Doe has a picture. Now, if we go back, you're able to add another user, type in their first and last name, and then you're able to do a password that Google automatically sets up for you, or you can create your own password for them and then allow them to change it once they sign in for their first time. And then once you see this screen here, you can email them to where they can just sign in and then they have access to their new email account. And then if you ever need to reset their password, or rename the user or even suspend or delete the user, you're able to do this underneath your admin panel underneath users. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video if it helped you. Comment up under this video as well as it helps my account. And please subscribe too as that helps my account as well. I really appreciate you guys for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you guys, bye.